Hey everybody, um, we're doing this quick video here. Um, there's a link in the description below for a complete list of con furry convention closures and delays due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, this will be a, I'll be making this on a weekly basis in conjunction with my normal videos. Um, this is for sort of historical purposes and for things as well. Um, so as we move along, then we will, I will kind of cut out the stuff that's already passed in these videos um, as far as their dates go. Um, but these are in order from closest to furthest, and these go to May 10th of the furry, main furry conventions that we're aware of. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other uh, local meets and stuff like that. So be sure to keep in contact with those individuals on those particular events. So here we go. So Blue Ridge Fur Con, um, its premier year in North Carolina, um, was successfully held, um, and they had um, 600 and some odd attendees. It was sold out, and they were able to make their charity donations and um, things. This was this just this last weekend, um, so they were able to successfully hold their convention before um, any local regulations. Um, kept them from being able to hold gatherings. Fertile Equinox from Toronto um, has been canceled um, for this year. It will occur again next year. Um, we will go over how to deal with those kind of situations a little bit later in this video. Um, Thai Tales um, from Thailand has been postponed to August 26th. Um, Vernexion has had no changes. This one occurs in Mexico. Um, basically, as of March 13th, they've that's what they had made their statement, their last statement, that they that they have not made any update. Um, Gateway Fur Meat has been canceled. Um, this was in Missouri. Uh, Golden State Fur Con has been postponed. Um, and they are going to be releasing an update on Monday, so on our next video you will be able to see when those dates are postponed to. Uh, Motor City Fur Con has been postponed. Um, the date is to be announced in the future. Uh, just for the weekend, um, doesn't indicate that they've had any changes um, to their plans. That's in the United Kingdom. Uh, Fantastique has uh, been moved to May. It was supposed to be taking place in March, but has been moved to May 29th to June 1st. Um, it's in France. Wild Nights, Oklahoma, no announced change as of yet, um, or any planned schedule changes as of yet. Uh, Biggest Little Fur Con um, from Reno, Nevada, has been postponed until... Uh, August, October 10th, it says. I thought it was Halloween weekend. I'll have to double check that. It's, it's, it's going to be taking place in October. I believe they said Halloween weekend or near Halloween weekend. Um, unless, they, unless they changed it to October 10th just recently. I'm not sure. Somebody, One of the other editors updated that one. I'm not sure. I thought it was October. Uh, I thought it was October 30th, but... Um, check your check your schedules and stuff. Um, Furry Weekend Holland um, has had no discernible changes. This is one I've actually they didn't really have a Twitter feed, so this is one I've actually gotten in contact and I've, I've submitted a ticket to ask whether or not they have any changes and plans in the future. Uh, Furry Down Under um, has been canceled for 2020. Um, they say that the registration will roll over to next year, if you have, um, have had registered, registered for Furry Down Under, and that's in Australia. Um, Otter Dance, um, that's a local thing, that, that one's not really a convention, they did, they were gracious enough to leave a comment that, um, that that would be a thing I believe that happens in the, the Newfoundland area. Um, or the uh, nor like sort of no sorry not Newfoundland Norway and stuff like that I think that's in that area um, they're proposed postponing their gathering um, Wolf um, has had no announced changes Wolf is in the Ukraine 
Um, Woof, interestingly enough, in 2019 had to basically cancel 2019 due to uh, political situations, tense political border dispute situations with the recurring Russia situation. Um, Furry Week in Atlanta, um, they said they have an announcement pending. It's probably going to be this coming Monday. Um, I'm recording this on Monday, early Monday morning. Um, Furry Week in Atlanta, yeah, so they said they're going to be announcing pretty soon. Um, Confuzzled, um, which is in the United Kingdom, has no change in their plans yet. Um, we're getting into May territory now as far as the dates go. And then Furlandia has had no change yet. Um, they have a deadline of deciding whether or not uh, these things are going to happen. So those ones are more in the May. So the, co the further up list you go, um, the closer to um, being able to things. Tie Tales, I think I don't know if I've mentioned them. They have moved to August 28th. And they were the first convention to take action. They are in Thailand. So they're pretty close to the epicenter of where the outbreak started. Um, and they took decisive action pretty quick. Um, um, some of the ones that have no changes are countries that haven't been really impacted um, by the outbreak as of yet. Um, now the United Kingdom is probably going to be in there pretty um, pretty soon. Um, so they might have to make decisions. I don't know whether or not because it's UK is pretty interconnected. Um, there's Mexico and some others, but. It's, a, it's an evolving situation, and the article and the link in the description will be evolving with it. And as, as such, um, videos will be made on a weekly basis in conjunction, and I'll be making a list of that. Um, basically, next weekend, I will be removing Furry Equinox and Blue Ridge from the list, obviously, since they um, would have been passed. Furry Equinox would have been this upcoming weekend um, had it not canceled. Um, in conjunction with that, there is a <clears throat> thing that Fernal Equinox is doing called um, Keep Calm, uh, Keep Calm Con, um, which they will be doing streaming things, and I will be doing a nonfiction panel um, with them if they approve it. Um, I will let you know further details on that as that comes to pass. Um, things are going to be pretty busy for me in the in the coming months. I can tell. Um, <laughs> So, but we'll, but I think it's important that I keep doing what I do and, and especially during these times, probably be more adamant and more focused on it, um, to get, make sure that, you know, furries are informed of the evolving world around them in this evolving situation. Um, so, you know, if you, if you need more information such as this, please feel free to kick the subscribe button. Um, and I could care less about the algorithm, so if you want to hit the like button, that's fine or not. Um, I'm not in this making money. Um, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll, so hopefully we'll uh, be able to keep each other company in spite of this uprising situation. Have a good one, guys.